Okay, this is my first trip in a solo. <laughs> it has two doors. You can get in one side or the other. It's very interesting. Okay. Welcome back to Downey Live. I'm Mike and I'm test driving another very unique vehicle. This is Christoph for Chris. 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 And uh, that in the background is the Electromechanica Solo. Is that what it's called? Right on, yeah. Okay, what is it? Whoa. Listen to that sound. It's a spaceship. It's a one person electric vehicle. It's called the Solo because there's only one seat. And three wheels. And three wheels, that's correct, yeah. Okay, first thing I notice is it drives pretty much like a normal car. Steering wheel, gas, brake. It's just, uh, it's electric, so there are no gears, but you drive it as if it's an automatic. Single seat. <laughs> so the range on this is about 100 miles, 160 kilometers. It takes three hours to charge if you have a 220 volt inlet, outlet or it'll take six hours to charge with a standard 110. That's like the plug in your wall. Top speed is about 130 kilometers an hour. So not outrageously fast by any means, but it will go as fast as you need it to on the highway. Basically it's fast enough to get you a speeding ticket still. Oh, I got a truck in front of us. Pretty good. Supposedly it does zero to 100 kilometers an hour or zero to 60 miles in about eight seconds, which is not mind-blowingly fast, but it's fast enough. I do like that sound. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop smiling. To give you an idea on trunk space, put my backpack, it's quite a big backpack back here, and there's lots of room left over. If you're traveling one of those suitcases, like a carry-on luggage, that'll fit really easily with another briefcase. Oh yeah. Oh, I like this. Oh, thanks. People love it. I'll give them that. So I'm trying to think of something I don't like about it so far. And I the only thing I can come up with is that there is no second seat. It'd be nice to be able to bring Nicole or a friend or be out and about and pick up a friend if they call you. And again, that could be a positive for someone else. This might be the perfect car if you're an introvert. This is like the best excuse not to give people a ride anywhere. Sorry, I can't solo. I roll solo. Okay, a couple of interesting things that you should know about it. In Canada, it qualifies as a car. In the United States, it qualifies as a motorcycle. But you don't need a motorcycle license to drive it in the States. Interesting. Okay, so pretty standard from a normal car. We have on the right-hand side is where you have your stereo. That's where you would normally have it, except there's no center console. It's just to the door. On the left-hand side, this is where you have your gearbox, your parking brake, open the trunk, windshield wipers, your fan, your like heating and defrost fan, seat heaters, and you do have a cup holder. And that's pretty much it. So I will say I do feel really low, especially when I'm stopped next to a truck like this. I worry if they can even see me. Normally I ride a motorcycle, so I'm constantly aware of being visible and not in blind spots, but you don't normally have to worry about that in a car you do have to be conscious about it in this. I've spent all day in this thing loving it, but not knowing why I love it. Is it because it's three wheeled, a single seater, it's just really unique, which I enjoy, or is it because it's electric, which I also think is awesome? But that, it doesn't answer the question of why you would get it. Why, why do I want this? get it. It's a second car. Once you have a car to carry your family and all your stuff in, this is your second car, your commuter to get you to work. One that if your partner needs to run out and grab something, they take this because there's no gas, there's no maintenance, insurance is less. I get it. That's it. It's your second car. Oh, interesting. I'm wondering why I have such great visibility. I Normally I drive a small SUV, but I, I always have to slouch still because 
the rear view mirror is blocks a lot of my visibility and there is no rear view mirror in this car because there's, there's no window behind me. There's just the side mirrors. These things get a lot of attention. I bet this thing's getting more looks than if I were in a Lamborghini right now. Everyone's seen a Lamborghini. This is what I'm most curious about. Why is it three wheels? Uh, it's a good question because it's not a car, it's not a motorcycle. It's something in between. So you have less roll resistance, right. less wheels on the ground. Less friction. Less friction means more range when it comes to electric vehicles. And lighter. And, and lighter, for sure. And if you see the vehicle from above, actually, it, it tears back, so it has a more aerodynamic shape, so it cuts better through the wind. Well, it's like a tear, yeah. teardrop shape. Yeah. It's one of the most aerodynamic shapes, they say. So why one seat? This vehicle is more meant to be as a second vehicle for the family. So it's a commuter vehicle. Um, I always make the analogy is, it's kind of like the iPhone for the road, you know? Most of the time you use your iPhone to check your emails or messages. Um, you don't open up your big computer, your, your right. laptop or whatever. Ah. Um, so it's, it's, it's very functional and at the end you will catch yourself driving a solo more often than you drive your, like, your four or seven seater sedan. Yeah. Yeah. Because family trips on a weekend for sure. But during the week you can take this guy into the city. It's, it's a no brainer. Like here's a great example. Nicole and I live together. She has an SUV. I ride a motorcycle. I park the motorcycle six months out of the year because it rains all winter long. If we wanted a second vehicle to replace my motorcycle, like this would be it. It fits the role my motorcycle has, except we can use it all year long. In a way, it's kind of like a motorcycle. Like you're in your own world, normally on a motorcycle, you're in your helmet. It's just you on the bike. And this is very similar in that respect, except you're completely shielded by the elements. I've got my roof, I'm not getting wet, I'm not getting cold. I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. What do you think of a single seater or only having three wheels? Leave, leave a comment down below because I want to know what you guys think of this. How much is it? How much is it? It's $19,888, so it's like 20 grand Canadian or 15,500 US. Okay. But keep in mind, uh, because it's electric, depends where you buy it, you get like a rebate. I wanna know what you think about this car. A single seater, three wheeled electric car. Is it the commuter for you? Would you get it? What do you think? Leave a comment down below. We both wanna know. Also, if you're new to this channel, welcome. This is what I do. I try new things all the time. So make sure to subscribe because I come out with these videos every week and I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I want you there with me. So. Uh, We'll see you then.